So in this dem demonstration, we will configure switch one for VLAN so that VOS one and VOS two are connecting to the switch and the switch will route the packets or switch the packets between them. They're not directly connected. So in the switch, you go to the network. The first one is the management, so we don't care about that. This is Ethernet 1. So if I have to show interface status, we got three interfaces. We look at adapter 2. This is Ethernet 1. Adapter 2 is Ethernet 1. It's connected to cable 1. Adapter 3 is Ethernet 2, connected to cable 11 and 11. Both adapters are PC Net Fast 3, allow all. PC Net Fast 3, allow all. This is important for the Arista switch. Once that is properly connected, Connected. So adapter 3 is connecting to, or Ethernet 2 is adapter 3 connecting to VOS 2, and VOS 2 is Ethernet 0, 11, 11, 11. And this guy is also N1, N1, you can keep it virtualized. This is N1 that matches up with this guy. So I hope this is clear. Now let's try to configure and make communication between VOS1 and VOS2 through the switch. Before we do that, let's look at the VLANs, show VLAN brief. We got a default VLAN1, both the switches are. Both the interfaces are in that. So our interfaces in the VOSs are looking like this. 10.1.1.2, 10.1.1.1. So they're in the same subnet. They should be able to talk on the same VLAN. So if we were to ping, we are because they're sitting on the same VLAN. We are now, let's change the VLAN. Let's go to the switch. Let's look at the configuration, show run interface Ethernet 1. Nothing in there, default VLAN, Ethernet 2, nothing in there, default VLAN. Show configure interface Ethernet 1. Now we're gonna put Ethernet 1 and 2 both in VLAN 10, okay? So you want to remove the VLAN 1, default VLAN. That's called a native, it's not tagged. So you should put in anything other than VLAN 1. So let's call it VLAN 10 for this matter. How do we do it? The command is switch port access VLAN 10. Access VLAN does not exist, creating VLAN 10. Thank you. Let's go to Ethernet 2, switch port access VLAN 10 already created. Okay, show VLAN brief. There you go. See the difference? VLAN 1 had the two ports and now VLAN 10 has the two ports. So now look at the communication. It's interrupted and it's resuming again because VLAN 10 spanning tree takes time. So you can look at the MAC addresses. And if this doesn't happen, then you all you have to do is do a write and reload, and it should work. I've already done that, but on the switch, you just have to make sure you save the configuration and reload, and it would work. And this is one command that puts the port in VLAN 10.